I'm particularly interested in how ancient Near Eastern authors um, respond to pressures in their social and political environment. I find uh, in my research, but also in my teaching, that while sometimes people are familiar with certain ancient Near Eastern traditions, usually specifically Israelite and Judean traditions that we have in the Hebrew Bible, um, they're not necessarily aware of how these traditions reflect the historical context. So for example, um, the biblical account of the Babylonian destruction of Jerusalem in 586, it only focuses on the experience of people in Jerusalem. We know that the Babylonians also destroyed cities and towns throughout Judea, but the biblical account doesn't really focus on that. It actually represents the views of a very elite urban minority. So I actually just um, finished my book. It will come out uh, this June with Oxford. Uh, it's called The Conflict Myth and the Biblical Tradition. It's based on several ancient Near Eastern stories about gods fighting each other. Typically, it's the storm god fighting the sea god, and the storm god always wins and becomes king of the gods. So in the ancient Near Eastern cultural milieu, it's the same story being adapted by different authors and in various historical contexts over the span of at least 3,000 years. The more that I teach and write, um, the afterlives of biblical texts are becoming more and more of interest. I would say um, the meaning of these stories uh, in, their, in ancient times would be my primary focus, but especially when I hear the types of questions and responses my students have, um, I become more interested in uh, how the stories are used uh, throughout history and, and wanting uh, my students to take away a sense of that. Last spring I got to teach a very interesting course called Sanctifying Violence and the Biblical Tradition where we looked at um, instances of biblical stories that feature violence and we analyzed how uh, the stories either justify the violence and consider it legitimate violence or um, portray the violence as unjustified, unacceptable violence. And then we also um, considered if these particular stories had been used in later contexts to justify um, violence uh, throughout you know, European history and even uh, in, the, in modern times. I would hope that um, as my students go on, if they were to encounter a story or about or, or a person, you know, using a biblical notion to justify violence, I want them to feel equipped to, um, to unpack the logic behind that and, and to challenge it.